For all he's worth after this one, he turns it in. Can Hurst get a shot in? There's a chance for Jeff Hurst, and he's hit the bar. It must be a goal. I would have thought that went in, but he's not given it. I thought that hit the bar and went in, Morris Edelston. I'm not certain. Yes, it's given. It's given. England are in the lead. The World Cup final in 1966 was one of the most controversial goal line technology decisions, for German fans anyway, and certainly for English fans it was controversial in the last World Cup. And therefore both German and English fans share the same reason for introducing goal line technology. FIFA decided to test a system by Adidas in which a football with an embedded microchip would send a signal to the referee if it crossed a sensor, going through the goal under the auspices of FIFA president Sepp Blatter in 2007. Just before the World Cup, the International Football Association Board, which determines the laws of the game, voted 6-2 to permanently ditch the technology, with the Scotland and England football associations casting the dissenting votes. This is a system jointly proposed by Adidas and Kairos Technologies AG. However, for any system to be accepted, it has to gain the approval of the great and good of the game of football. I'm an advocate of certain, a certain level of technology in sport and a limited amount of technology in football. And by limited I mean goal line technology. I do think when you're dealing with the fact of did the ball cross the line or didn't it, you're dealing in fact. It's not subjective, it's not uh, a matter of opinion. It's a matter of fact, actually. Did the ball cross the line, yes or no? The system consists of thin cables installed underneath the penalty area and behind the goal line. Electricity running in the cables generate magnetic fields which are picked up by the sensors in the ball when in the goal area. The sensors in the ball measure the magnetic fields and transmit data about the ball's location to receivers placed off the pitch, which then forwards the data to a central computer. The computer determines from the data when the ball has crossed the goal line and transmits a radio signal to the referee, who wears a special watch, when a goal has been scored. Kairos claims this all happens in a matter of microseconds, addressing critics' concerns that the technology might slow down the game. But anything less than 100% accuracy will not be enough to satisfy Sepp Blatter and the game's governing board. But don't expect goal line technology to be a panacea removing disputed decisions. Every England fan, and I'm one of them, will tell you that that ball crossed the line. So it didn't need technology then. And <laughs> the fact that the technology has to be incorporated inside the ball might put off some on the game's governing board, who might favour Hawkeye's more passive system. Additionally, Adidas, who has jointly developed the technology with Kairos, faced mounting criticism during the World Cup over the Jambulani football. So the Kairos system will be one of the front runners, as will Hawkeye, and a decision will be made in October by FIFA.